See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart. I praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Let's be aware of the grace and goodness of God. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace. They made fervent in hope, faith, and charity. They may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Shepherd your people with your staff, the flock of your inheritance that dwells apart in a woodland in the midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan and Gilead, as in the days of old, as in the days when you came from the land of Egypt. Show us your wonderful signs. Who is there like you, the God who removes guilt and pardons sin for the remnant of his inheritance? Who does not persist in anger forever, but delights rather in clemency? and will again have compassion on us, treading underfoot our guilt. You will cast into the depths of the sea all our sins. You will show faithfulness to Jacob and grace to Abraham, as you have sworn to our fathers from days of old. The word of the Lord. Lord, show us your mercy and love. You have favored, O Lord, your land. You have brought back the captives of Jacob. You have forgiven the guilt of your people. You have covered all their sins. You have withdrawn all your wrath. You have evoked your burning anger. Lord, show us your mercy and love. Restore us, O God, our Savior, and abandon your displeasure against us. Will you be forever angry with us, prolonging your anger to all generations? Lord, show us your mercy and love. Will you not instead give us life, and shall not your people rejoice in you? Show us, O Lord, your kindness, and grant us your salvation. Lord, show us your mercy and love. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother, who are my brothers? Stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of my heavenly father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. We're seeing that there is a unity that is caused, or a brotherhood and sisterhood that's caused through the power of the Spirit who stirs in the world around us. And that their bond that happens within families is a bond that happens through the power of grace of, spirit, of the Spirit. And so we have brothers and sisters. And just as our brothers and sisters, usually most brothers and sisters fight as they grow up and they have differences and they have a lot of things that they have to learn how to forgive and give back to one another. That same reality is within every situation of life. And how do we begin to recognize there's the bond that holds us together, that unites us, that's stronger than whatever difficulties or any circumstances that may come up. The bond of the power of Christ. And so this day, let's remember that as we're going through our day. There's going to be differences. There's going to be lots of things that happen that we don't like, that we don't want. But remember, there's something bigger, the bond of Christ, which unites it all in a manner which is beyond our own likes and dislikes. Let's ask God to help us to see that. We bring our needs to God. 
For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the Lord look graciously upon him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For elected officials, may God's compassion and justice guide them in serving those they represent. We pray to the Lord. For those of us gathered here, may the Lord keep us steadfast in faith and hope. We pray to the Lord. For the sick, that they may know his healing grace, and those who have died, that they may rest in the love of God. We pray to the Lord. We bring our own needs to God. For these needs, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, in your mercy, hear and answer the prayers we offer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer to you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer to you. Fruit of the vine, a work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Here, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants. Make it holy as you blessed the gifts of Abel, so that, with each had, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. So it is right that your creatures serve you, the redeemed praise you, all of your saints with one heart bless you. We too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. And holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gerald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy you may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. May you give peace to your family and high peace to others. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace. <laughs>